Welcome back to my channel, Little Life Guru. Please click the subscribe and like buttons if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos. I'm sorry it's been a while. Um, I did actually film this video and then a couple of the files got corrupted, so I'm filming it again. So this video is about the cruise phase of the Ducan diet. I've got a few notes here, so I will be referring to those. Um, but really this is just to give you a bit of information about this part of the diet and what to expect. A bit of background information, just a recap cap really of my last video. So I started the diet on the 1st of February this year. I weighed 126 pounds. I had no scales at the time so I think I probably was a few pounds heavier than that give or take. My target weight is 110 pounds now down to 112 so I've done pretty well so far. The difference between the attack phase and the cruise phase is the attack is purely protein um, other than oatmeal there's hardly any vegetables um, no sugar, no salt, very, very restricted diet. And that's to get your body kick-started into starting to eat and use up your fat reserves. In the cruise phase, you have a day on uh, with protein only, a day off, and that means protein, but you can have vegetables and, and other items from a, a list that's given in the book. You go on like that for a period of time. So you're on the cruise phase, for um, for every pound you want to lose, you are on it for three days. Then that takes you up to the consolidation phase, which is essentially um, maintaining that weight loss, and it has a lot more freedoms, but we'll get to that when I get to that phase. A lot more variety. Um, you can eat out again. Um, it's more interesting. Um, I ate so many eggs in the attack phase, I literally thought I was turning into an egg. So it was really nice to finally have some greens and some vegetables and things like that. The other great thing is, in the attack phase I did find I was very tired all the time and I think that's the adjustment to eating a lot less. Um, withdrawal really of like salt and sugar that I'd had in my diet. I've lost a lot of weight. My clothes are looser. I don't think about my weight anymore. It's not something that I feel that's getting in the way of me being who I want to be. Um, my confidence is sky high. I enjoy shopping for clothes. I enjoy getting ready in the morning. Um, I'm not having those moments where I'm trying stuff on and thinking, can I get away with wearing it? Is it a bit too tight? Being self-conscious of meetings because clothes kind of hold around the stomach area, which was always my problem area. My brain is almost reprogrammed. At the beginning, you have to really consciously think about what you can eat and what you can't eat. Having those guide lines, you, you know that as long as you stick to it, you're going to see results. I'm more um, conscious of the fact of, well, I ate out last night, so, you know, and I had a glass of wine, so today I'm just going to have a really nice light lunch and a salad and lots of protein, so I still feel full. I'm not sort of depriving my body, but I also know that I'm probably not going to go two nights out in a row. Um, I'm going to try and avoid that but the great thing is I can socialize again in the attack phase it's very difficult to and I'd recommend you don't um, too many temptations um, too many people saying oh just have a bit of bread have a bit of this or this seems really extreme why are you doing this diet you don't need to lose weight you, you don't need any doubt you need to just totally focus and be selfish during that time compliments um, amazing you feel so good at the beginning you're sort of don't quite know how to take them and oh no 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 it's you know I haven't really lost that much weight and, uh, to begin with I don't think people had noticed that much and then I've seen some friends I hadn't seen for a while in the last month or so and everyone's been saying wow you've you've lost a lot of weight you look really good you look really healthy and I'm full of energy all the time I remember feeling like I'd eat and I'd always feel so yucky afterwards and bloated and uncomfortable and just felt like I needed to go and lie down and I realise now it's because of the food groups and the food choices I was making but also because I was sort of overwhelming my body with chemicals and salt and sugar and food that it didn't need and it was working so hard to process all of that and it was sort of just shutting down at points. I also don't get ill. I used to get unwell a lot. I'd always get cold so I'd always get run down and I just don't have that anymore. 
more, which is obviously another bonus. I used to crave foods, like chocolate or salty things, and I don't get those now, which is great. Okay, so these are my top six tips, and I'm gonna try and go through them as quickly as possible, uh, so this doesn't become boring. So number one is weigh yourself. Weigh yourself every day, really important. Helps you keep on track of your weight. Um, if you've gone a bit overboard the night before, you'll be able to see that the next day, and it just makes you conscious about, you know, how you're choosing to spend your days and what you're choosing to eat. It's not a chore, it's quite rewarding, and actually, it just keeps me on track the whole time. Number two, breakfast, break fast, and that's what it means, so never miss it. I have oatmeal in the morning with low-fat vanilla yogurt, I talked about that in the attack phase. You can have eggs, you know, you can have omelettes, scrambled egg with smoked salmon, make it as fun and interesting as you like, but do not miss it. You must make time for it in the morning, it will set you up for the day and it'll stop you from overeating, snacking and choosing poor choices for food. Number three, beware of feeders. You are out there. Um, they mean well. Uh, they love to cook for people. They love to bring in gifts. They love to share food as well, um, which is very sweet and very kind. And I know a lot of uh, a lot of families and a lot of cultures. You know, food is about sharing and love and time together as a family. Um, but when you're trying to diet and when you're trying to really gain control over what you eat somebody feeding you stuff unnecessarily is not going to help so you might find if you're someone that's always struggled with your weight over the years like maybe you're overweight your parents are overweight maybe a sibling is you want to look at maybe your family and see maybe there's someone who's actually a bit of a feeder so whenever you're trying to kind of hold back a bit they're going go on it's just a tiny bit of cake or have a bit of mine it's so good honestly have it and then they put it on your plate even when you say no you're gonna to have to be really controlled and polite and just say thank you very much but i'm consciously trying to lose weight and and if I want to help myself, I'll help myself. Targets, amazing and they're great. Don't get me wrong, you know, my target was 110 pounds. I'm only a few pounds off that now, woo. But I did set my targets right at the beginning when I was heavier. I didn't know much about the diet and I was going on as much of a personal journey as an educational one. So I would suggest that if you find that you get to a weight and you're really happy with it and you're maintaining it and it means you've got a good balance of having fun and eating foods you like and, and still feeling great, then good for you. It doesn't mean you failed. You know, you have to sometimes slightly readjust targets depending on how realistic they are drink water drink water that's what i mean you've got to drink it find ways of doing that i am still having to program that into my little brain so i put a jug of water on my desk at work and that's a visual reminder for me that i need to make sure i keep drinking you can get some really cool really nice visually nice looking water bottles which have you know markings on them to how much you've drunk in the day they filter tap water so it means you can be on the go and always have clean water. Just go on Google and you'll find some great examples. Um, just make sure you do it. It helps with weight loss. Um, it stops you from feeling hungry when you're not because you're actually dehydrated. It's great for your skin, your hair, your nails and your overall health. So it's a win-win. Six, this is one for the girls. Sorry guys, during your menstrual week, you will find it quite difficult to lose weight. And in fact, in the book, it tells you that it's very unlikely that you'll lose any. Don't lose faith. This is very common. But the last thing you want to do is jeopardize everything you did the week before to get you where you are. So at least you want to maintain and stay at the same level same weight so it's really hard sometimes I know I get cravings for sugary salty things a couple of things I love are jelly or jello as you guys call it in America um, you can make, get them in sachets they're very low fat um, you can make them up into plastic cups you know like the ones you have um, for picnics and things like that put them in the fridge uh, take them to work all you have to do is put a bit of foil or, or cling film as we call it here in the UK on top and then you've got a really nice sweet treat at the end of your lunch also you can kind of eat as many as you want of them but I wouldn't make a bowl because it gets a bit gross after time I also make them in ramekins or glasses you know water glasses or shot glasses if you want a really mini one and they're really yummy and sweet and they just are really satisfying and the second thing I like to do is get low-fat crackers and I put low-fat cream cheese and I put smoked 
salmon on there I cut up some chives get a bit of pepper on there and it is so yummy really filling and it's very sort of comforting food also go for hot drinks that's always good you can put a little, tiny little bit of honey in there maybe, maybe a bit of lemon um, you can also get very low fat low calorie hot chocolates which you can always do that as well so there's just a few tips otherwise I hope you found this video helpful my channel is called Little Life Guru. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and you want more of them. Obviously I'm going on to the consolidation phase of the diet so if you want to hear about that then thumbs up this. Any comments you've got, any suggestions, recipes you love, um, sharing of knowledge then please comment in the comment section below um, and otherwise I'll see you in a month or so when I'll do my next update. Thanks very much, bye!